What's up Amazon sellers and welcome to our channel. This video is meant for Amazon sellers who are beginners with Amazon advertising. So if you are brand new in your journey selling on Amazon, then congratulations and welcome aboard. It is a great ride and learning how to advertise properly on Amazon is key to success. So in this video, we're gonna go over ad placements on Amazon, the three different ad types and where they show up. And we're gonna go over some basic concepts on how to set up your campaigns right from the very beginning. So stay tuned. And if you are more advanced and you've been advertising on Amazon for quite some time, make sure you check out our other videos on the customer buying cycle and how to set up very efficient campaigns based on where shoppers are at in the customer buying cycle. And oh guys, if you haven't subscribed to our channel, make sure to subscribe and click on the little notification button because we help Amazon brands to become household brand names and advertising is a key component to that. All right, welcome to the all new advertising console. It is looking spiffy and much better than when I started back in 2015. Now here you're gonna see there are three different types of campaigns. You have sponsored product ads, you have sponsored brand ads, and you have sponsored display ads. Now. Sponsored display ads is relatively new and it's been around since around 2019. We're not gonna focus on that. I will show you where they show up on Amazon, but if you're just getting started, I highly suggest going and working with sponsored product ads because sponsored product ads allows us to get the lowest hanging fruit and typically 70 to 80% of our sales through advertising are going to come from sponsored product ads. Now, the beautiful thing about this is once you set up your sponsored product ads and you have all of your campaigns set up, they're connecting to search terms, you're getting customers, you're finding out what's working, that information will feed into your sponsored brand ads and will feed into your sponsored display ads. And this is how you start to get a well-rounded approach and strategy to your Amazon advertising. So why don't we dive into Amazon here? I'm going to show you where those ads show up. Now, whenever you're shopping on Amazon or when you're on Amazon, you're going to see this little sponsored section right over here. And that means that it is an advertisement and that's something that we can advertise for. So this ad coming up right over here, this is a a sponsored brand ad. This is a top of search sponsored brand ad formerly known as headline search ad. Now let's go back this section right over here. This is a sponsored brand ad right over here. Now going down the page over here, you can see the first ads that show up at the very top row. These are sponsored product ads. And here we have sponsored product ads that show up right over here. Any shopper that has typed in Frisbee for kids, the first listings they see are all advertisements, ads and ads, sponsored brand and sponsored products. Now, as I go down the page, you're going to see some interesting things over here. Um, going down the page, you'll see another row of sponsored product ads. Now these are considered rest of search sponsored product ads. So they show up at the middle here and there might be even another row towards the bottom. Let's see. Yep. Rest of search sponsored product ads, very simple and easy to set up. And as I go even further down the page, you'll see some ads over here. Now check this out, guys. These are rest of search sponsored brand ads. So sponsored brand ads, rest of search show up down over here. And down over here, we have a bottom of search sponsored display ad. So sponsored display ad. So as you can see, the first page when you're shopping on Amazon is loaded with ads and all three ad types are going to show up. But from this example, you can see that sponsored product ads shows up the most. And this is why 70 to 80% of our sales comes through sponsored product ads. Next, I'm going to actually click on a listing here. And as I go down this page, you're going to see that there's some ads that show up. Now check out this ad and this ad. These are sponsored display ads. Once again, sponsored display ads, and they show up in some really premium locations right below the buy box, right below the bullet points. And as I go down over here, you'll see another sponsored brands related to this category on Amazon. All of these where it says brands are sponsored brand ads right over here, sponsored brand ads. And as I go down the page over here, you can see that there are going to be sponsored products related to this item. So here we have again, sponsored products, sponsored products right over here. And that's the one that we're going to work with today, sponsored products. Now check out this ad. This is another really great ad that shows up in ad inventory. This is a sponsored display banner ad, the huge hero ad that shows up in the middle of the product detail page. So once again, sponsored display showing up right over here. As I go further down the page, you may see some other ads. Some of these are ads that are for DSP, but we have another row of sponsored products related to this item at the very bottom of this page. So once again, sponsored products. And then over here, we have another sponsored display. So sponsored display showing up. All right, guys. So as you can see, uh, when you're shopping on Amazon, there are ads that are littered throughout the entire experience. 
And this is how a lot of sellers, when they're just getting started, start to get some sales. Because what the great thing about Amazon advertising is it allows you to get that visibility as soon as you're starting on Amazon. All right, so let's dive into the different campaign types. The first one that we have here is sponsored product ads. And like I said, most of your sales are gonna come there. Let's set up your very first sponsored product campaign. So when going into Seller Central and clicking on sponsored product ads, you're gonna see here that you have the option to select a campaign name. Now it's important to have a really good naming structure. And we talk about this in the free Amazon ads playbook series, how to set up your campaign name the right way, which is available in the link below. Now going down over here, you can see that there's the option to set up a portfolio. Let's say that you're starting off with one SKU, but you have multiple campaigns for that SKU. You can throw those campaigns into a portfolio. And this makes it very easy to monitor all of those campaigns across that one SKU very quickly and easily. Now, if you have more than one SKU, then that increases the need for a portfolio. If you have just one SKU, you probably don't need a portfolio just yet. So in terms of the start date and the end date, sellers typically leave this open-ended and then optimize their campaigns by adjusting their bid prices along the way. Um, now, with regards to your daily budget, I would say on the very low end, getting started with $10 is okay. Amazon suggests $30 or more to get started. So if you can afford $30 a day, that'd be great. And the benefits of spending $30 a day as compared to $10 a day is you're gonna have more data more quickly so you can more efficiently get to where you wanna be with your optimization for this particular campaign. So next you have the targeting type. You have automatic targeting versus manual targeting. And in the playbook series, we break down step-by-step -step how to set up these campaigns. And I suggest using them both in tandem, but automatic campaigns allow Amazon to find the search terms and the ASINs for you. So you're essentially, you're going to show up for different search terms and on different product detail pages based on Amazon's recommendation. In the manual targeting, you're going to find keywords and you're going to find ASINs to target. And you're basically going to tell Amazon, hey, I want to get visibility for these keywords and for these ASINs on the product detail pages. Next, we have the campaign bidding strategy. And keep in mind, guys, that before 2019, Amazon used dynamic bids down only. And now they have dynamic bids up and down and fixed bids. I would suggest starting with dynamic bids down only because this means that Amazon could potentially lower your bid price if you're not likely to convert. Now, dynamic bids up and down gives Amazon the flexibility to raise your bid price up to 100% if they think you're going to convert. If you don't have a seasoned product and if you haven't been doing advertising for a while, I do not suggest starting out with dynamic bids up and down. At the very least, start with fixed bids and then move to dynamic bids down only. This way you can potentially spend less for every click that you get to your ads. Next thing is creating an ad group. Now, if you're just starting out, I suggest starting with one ad group, keeping it simple and easy. Um, if you're doing a manual campaign, you can put all of the keywords in one match type in one ad group. And if you want to layer on another ad group, you can you can put in those same keywords in another match type in a second ad group. But for the most part, you want to use ad groups to keep things simple and clear and concise and make it easier for yourself to optimize later on. I'm going to stick to just one ad group for the sake of this example. But if you want to learn more about how to set up ad groups, download the playbook series. I'm going to teach you all about how to do that. All right, guys. So here's the product that I selected. And when I select this product, these are the products that are going to show up in my advertisements right over here. You can see I'm on the product detail page and going down the page over here. Now we have the option to either do a default automatic targeting or targeting by ad group. Now this is getting a little bit more advanced. And now in 2019, we like to do these targeting groups, which essentially means we're going to target keywords that are closely related, loosely related, or product detail pages that are substitutes of our product or complementary to our product. So the difference between close match, loose match versus substitutes and complements is these are going after keywords and search terms where people are searching for and substitutes and complements are going after product detail pages. The next option is to set in our negative keyword targeting. So let's say we have a really good idea of what we're selling and we want to make sure that we shield ourselves from products that are not related to what we're selling. For example, let's say we're selling a metal grill brush and we're not selling a wooden grill brush. We could put the word wooden in here as a negative phrase match. By doing that, that eliminates us from being shown anytime somebody types in the word wooden, which essentially makes our ads much more relevant to the shoppers. We just want to be careful early on to make sure that we don't overdo it here. And later on in our optimization, we can go back and add keywords here and add phrases here to help us reduce wasted ad spend. And then finally, we have the same thing with negative product targeting. This is the 
essentially telling Amazon, hey, I don't want to show up on product detail pages based on whatever I feel is not going to be a good fit or based on the data. So if we have a bunch of campaigns running and we see that whenever somebody clicks on a particular product page and we get no sales, we can then take that ASIN, put it here and tell Amazon, we do not want visibility for that ASIN anymore. All right, guys, that was an automatic campaign. Now let's dive into a simple manual campaign. So once you select the manual campaigns, you can see that you have the options once again to select your bidding strategy. And I'm going to go ahead and go with dynamic bids down only in this example. And here's a, a better case for setting up multiple ad groups because you could set up ad groups based on your keyword match type. Let's say you wanted to do a certain subset of keywords as broad match. And then in the next ad group, you want to do those same keywords, but as phrase match. And then in the third ad group, you want to do those same keywords, but an exact match. You can easily set that up inside of Seller Central by creating three different ad groups. For this example, I'm just going to set up one ad group and here's the product that we're setting up. And now you have the option of either doing keyword targeting or product targeting. Now, keyword targeting is where you're finding either your own set of keywords or you're using Amazon's suggested keywords. And as you can see, Amazon does suggest keywords for you based on your listing. So you could either go to a tool like kinwords.com, put in your seed keyword and find relevant uh, keywords. And by the way, this keyword tool is free, or you can use Amazon suggested keywords and find the keywords that are highly related to what you're selling. So as you can see here, Amazon is showing the suggested bid price for broad phrase and exact match. And you can, once again, you can break this up by ad group, or you can add everything all in one ad group. One of the most important things to do when setting up your manual campaign is to make sure that you do your keyword research thoroughly. Finding a solid list of five to 15 highly relevant keywords is absolutely critical. We're then going to set it up in a manual campaign using the different match types. Now, match types are critical because it allows us to connect to various audiences. If I'm going after a specific precise match type, then I want to use the exact match. If I want to give Amazon a little bit of leeway to connect me to various audiences, I'm going to use the phrase match type, which allows Amazon to maintain the actual phrase of the keyword that I put in here, but add words before and after. Now, broad match type allows Amazon to have the most amount of reach, the most amount of visibility, it's still going to maintain that keyword in somewhere in the search term, but it's going to give Amazon a little bit more leeway and a little bit more reach. Finally, guys, the last step is Amazon allows us once again to do negative keyword targeting. All right, guys, I hope that you found value in this very basic Amazon advertising video. Get out there and create some campaigns right away and definitely download the Amazon ads playbook series, which has over 25 done for you Amazon advertising campaigns. I go over step-by-step -step how to set them up, the different types of settings that you should put inside of all your campaigns, how to find the keywords. Everything is done for you. So go ahead and download that and I'll see you inside of the playbook series and on next week's video. Take care.